morning, I'm in Donegal yet again. Uh, just such a beautiful place, can't stay away from it. So, um, plan is to camp out overnight, and I'm the plan is to head up there to that Terrigal Mountain and climb up the, the northern face of it and down over Macnock and down. And if you can see the gap, that's Loch Atlan. So, the, the, the plan is to camp there tonight and then in the morning to go up over Ackle Moor and across to Ackle Beg and then back down again to, to Warren Park. So uh, the weather is it's not too bad, we have a breeze and quite cloudy. Uh, we breaks, which is it's quite cool to see. Uh, hopefully there's some nice light, uh, but hopefully it'll be a good trip. That's the whole of Loch Atlan, or Atlan Loch, and just at the far end there, there's like an old farmhouse, and it's a lovely wee area. There's a beach and uh, those are nice sort of grass areas, the camp and uh, the river and waterfalls. Uh, so that's that'll be this evening, and uh, just on round up to Erigal. Better point there I go. It's pretty pretty wet day. Um, so there's this free apron around the base. Uh, really cool views. Right over Macnocht and um, down across Dakla Beg. You can just see how much scree there is here in these hills. Uh, really, really fantastic. shelter from the wind here around the around the uh, eastern side of the, the hill and uh, really fresh breeze there and uh, there's there's literally nothing here but um, the sun started to come out a wee bit more and the views are the views here are spectacular anyway but uh, just just look at that light um, it's just absolutely fantastic
So we're just scrambling up. It's not too bad actually. Um, you don't even have, really have to use your hands, but um, there is a lot of loose rock. So we'll just, just been taking a wee bit of care. Nothing that you wouldn't do normally, you know. bit more height now so you can see the sort of uh, the angle of the scree has just come up uh, pretty cool uh, just across to Agla Beg the path's turned back to the west so Coming back into the wind, a wee bit of shelter here just behind some rocks, but um, it's it's pretty gusty, pretty gusty wind. Um, still absolutely stunning, pretty cool as well. Feeling up my hands. This is the famous window. So it's a window of rock here around the western side of Argyll, and um, you actually have to climb through this. And this gets you then to the last wee bit of the climb, which is just up there. Far from the, the top now. It's up there. And it's up. Now you can see, like wow, look at the uh, the series. And in this way, we've um, started to just clear the river. And then you can start to see the coast and some of the islands. Summit, 750 meters. So we're going down the more popular side and as you can see this is much much more travelled and there's loads of big cairns that people have built on the way down. This is uh, where this can get really busy uh, but it's still a fantastic way to climb up Arrigal.
Let's open up the uh, top of Mackinac after we come down Arigal. And I'm way down on just this here hill. Uh, and I'll drop down the other side and I'll get me down to the lock um, for camp. And there's a nice bit of scree here and I've run down this before. So I'm going to give it a go to uh, see what happens. So. Okay, uh, it's on the legs, but um, but gets you down quite quick.
available. Uh, sky cleared at times and uh, just loads and loads of stars, so that was, that was really cool. It's um, about half seven in the morning, so we're just getting some tea on and getting ready to pack up. Uh, there's a wee bit of blue sky, but there's quite a bit of cloud as well, so no sunlight as yet. And you can see that's the old farmhouse, and that's the lock. So, um, pretty cool place to come. Climbing up Agna Moor and uh, just come up from the, the campsite to a way down in there and uh, a nice walk along the river, some really cool waterfalls. As you can see across above the cliffs, uh, you can see Macnoct and Erigal sort of rising up um, behind the cliffs, and that's where we were up yesterday. 
So uh, really nice for the, for the sun catching it this morning. It's getting pretty warm. Uh, I think that's a company still sun and me huffing and puffing up here up by the moor. But again it's just a really cool morning. So that's Agla Moor up there, that's where we're heading. And if we look down across the valley, that's the East Mountain, across the other side of the Derry Bays. Uh, there that's the Snack. And we're back around to uh, what we climbed yesterday up uh, Magnoff and Argo. go really really well. Uh, yesterday I sort of went up and right up the north side and then down so I traversed off, off the whole mountain and then over back north and you see down to you can see the wind sort of blowing um, across the water so it's, it's pretty gusty it's not too bad up here but here so that's um Akla Beg um sort of that's actually Akla Beg there but you have the two tops and then I'll be dropping down and back to the car. one way down from um, Akla Moor and you can see that's Akla Beg over there so that's what we're heading for so that's um, 600 metres and this is Loch Fian and uh, really nestled deeply up here in, in, in the hillside and the, the mountain in the distance that's Muckish Mountain that's uh, another one of the iconic mountains of uh, Donegal as well as Arago and it's quite sharp actually this morning and you can see along the coast up there that's Hornhead 
There are some really dramatic cliffs up there. See one around the coast. We're looking north, that's Slough Calurig, and away up there, that's Muckish Mountain, and that's sort of all up there is sort of real north of Donegal, all up towards um, Malin Head. So, this is as, as far north as you can get in Ireland, and it's a really spectacular part of um, well, part of Ireland, part of the north of Ireland, um, uh, just a place to keep coming back to, time and again.